I just love um, the art of building and creating a garden, uh, especially an English garden. Started this many, many years ago, and then after Sandy, it kind of wiped it out a little bit, maybe 50% of it. And then we worked very, very diligently at bringing it back to life. And I'm so happy and excited. I'm so visual that I get to I, uh, I get to look at it again because it's actually uh, it actually came back after a lot of work and diligence. Pretty cool, and um, you know all the different colors and. I just love that. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's such a great sense of um, accomplishment when you watch all of these colors manifest together. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Absolutely. Hydrangea is actually my favorite flower. Then some daisies that are coming out. And then I go on this side and all the different purples. Look at these colors. And then a little daisies there. More hydrangeas. These, oh, Sandy really affected these big ones. And then we were able to cut them down, build them back up again. And just the accomplishment of building a garden and creating something from nothing over the years. I guess it's kind of like a business a little bit, right? It's pretty cool. And, um, and now, now what I'm uh, working on is, um, is these hydrangeas. Oof, these, these took a beating, but now they're all coming back. It's amazing what Miracle Grow can do. And then if you look back there, I'm trying to climb those hibiscuses on the trellis there. And I put threads on them and everything. It's pretty neat. Look at the color of that. That's called a lacy hydrangea, right? And then I built also, we created this side as well. These were all these will pop like crazy over the next um, couple of weeks, especially more into July and then August. Look at those, how pretty those daisies are. And I love little ornaments uh, in the garden as well. Really, really cool stuff. And then here, um, I can't remember what I call what these are called. But they don't last too long. They last about a couple of weeks. And then there's so many different types of hostesses. So many different types. And the cool thing about hydrangeas is you could change the color based on the acidity in the soil, which is cool. And these daisies will start popping any day now over there. And then also to uh, the liatrices, those purple things that are sticking up high, which are pretty cool. Look at how beautiful that flower is. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So I wanted to share a portion of our garden, just a portion of it. The front is even more unbelievable. And then, um, I'm gonna build it even more over here as we walk, walk down. And then um, over here, those climbing hibiscuses also too will grow onto the trees near the hot tub uh, and things like that. It's so, so pretty, colors. Geez, I'm lucky I'm so visual. <laughs> so those are beautiful as well. And then more, and then knockout roses over there. So hope you enjoyed that. Have a beautiful Sunday. It's gorgeous here. Bye-bye.